Welcome to Mustang Sports On Demand. I'm Paul Taylor, joined by women's soccer head coach Graham Millar as the Mustangs uh, defeat Widener 2 to nothing here Saturday evening at Mustang Stadium. And coach, you got a big goal from Kellen Whitman, who really has had an outstanding sophomore year for you guys. Yeah, she's continued where she left off from last year, you know, um, you know, really good freshman year and, um, you know, especially somebody that plays two sports and, uh, you know, really works hard at both sports to be good. She's um, she's kept his in games and, and scored some crucial goals goals and today you know to get us on the board and that first half when it was pretty tight um, you know was a great great finish and, and it really settled settled the team day a lot of sports they don't necessarily keep time of possession you know not like football but uh, one thing kind of indicative of that would be shots on goal Weiner didn't have any yeah talk about uh, your defense tonight yeah pretty impressed with that you know the defense is you know can I commend her some heat you know early on the season we had a lot of one goal losses and actually eight one goal losses so you know the defense defense really had to work together on how they can make things better and and you know today was the perfect example of, of what we put in over the last couple of weeks since we started the conference and you know Emily Lasquadro and um, you know Sam Hooker leading the line at the back there in the middle have really done an outstanding job and and I think that's the first game in a long time where there's been no shots especially against a team that's that's pretty decent like Widener so um, I'm proud of the defensive effort today. Now you mentioned the, the eight straight loss or the eight losses in September it, those games, though, they kind of prepare you for October and that you, you face tougher opponents. So when you get into conference schedule, things go better. And they have to this point four conference wins in a row. Yeah, that's what you know. That's what we do. We, you know, we have two ways to make the NCAA tournament, which is win our conference and and beat you know teams like Widener and, and the number one team in the country right now, Messiah. Or we win the games in September against really good teams. We're not going to you know get an at-large bid if we're playing teams that you know we can beat easily. So my always always my plan is we're going to play the best teams in the region, and uh, you know some of those teams were nationally ranked like Johns Hopkins and Haverford, and and we took them you know all the way. So these games have really prepared us the same way it did last year when we went two five and three in September to really now you know put that um, put those mistakes behind us put what we learned behind us and, and and make a run at this conference title again can you point to one specific turning point this season to maybe now that that's kind of fueled this run um, well we did um, have a, a interesting uh, team workout at 6 a.m. in the morning um, a couple of weeks ago before um, our Johns Hopkins game so I'll kind of leave it at that it ended up uh, it was a 6 a.m. workout that, that worked out well for us so um, and we We've really we got you know morale boosting you know loss I guess against Hopkins we lost in overtime but from there we really turned it around so um, you know we changed some things up as well formation wise and uh, you know the girls have bought into it they're all in for this team and and for Stevenson so you know I'm really proud of the way they've turned things around. Now short turnaround here you got Hood coming up early this week but then you have an eight day break so what the, so it's kind of a, a tale of two different weeks here for you guys. Yeah you know we got to take care of business on Tuesday you know Hood comes quickly you know we're we're playing on Tuesday so. Um, not much of a rest, so the, the big thing is is to go into that break 4-0. And, and uh, you know, that's his halfway through the conference schedule. So if we can get this next win over Hood, then we have a break to recoup and, and be ready for the last four games of the season. So I think, um, you know, I think we're, we're in need of a break. And, uh, you know, we just got to take care of business on Tuesday and not look too, too far forward to that break. All right, Coach, thanks so much for your time. Good luck on Tuesday, and we'll talk to you in a few weeks. All right, thanks, Paul. For Coach Graham Millar, I'm Paul Taylor, and this has been the Mustang Sports Network On Demand, powered by SFMSports.net.